Salem Buni Uda has seen a lot in his 99 years. He lives in the Palestinian village of Tamun in the West Bank city of Jenin. Israeli soldiers on patrol are a common sight. And more often than not, they bring with them their best friends to carry out arrests. Dozens of well-trained dogs are used by the Israeli army to search for wanted Palestinian militants. But the method is not always foolproof. I'm 100 years old. What did they want from me? The ferocious dogs attacked me and ate my ears and shoulders. Now I can't move. Salem Buni Uda says he was in bed when soldiers surrounded his house. He says he was bitten repeatedly and taken to hospital with a gash to his left ear. Israeli soldiers entered the town and gathered us together. The dog bit my grandfather while he was sleeping. It happened in front of the soldiers. In a statement, the Israeli army says it called on everyone to leave the house. But because Salem was still inside, he was bitten by the dog. The IDF has for years been using dogs in its search and arrest operations. Many soldiers' lives were saved because of the dogs. Animals don't hurt humans for no reason. I have never received a report of a dog attacking a Palestinian for no reason. I believe in this situation the dog sensed something and attacked the Palestinian to defend his and the soldier's life. There is debate in Israel about whether or not it's ethical for the country to use dogs in its fight against terrorism. For some Jews, especially older ones, the sight of aggressive police dogs brings back painful memories of the Holocaust, where Nazi guards used dogs to intimidate, maim or kill. Dogs are an important weapon of the Israeli army. They used to snuff out explosives and search for militants. Not far from here is the headquarters of the dog unit known as Orkuts. There, inside this military base, is a dog cemetery and even a dog hospital. Paulus Lear, RT.